This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. What's up, nerds? Today we're going to pay tribute to somebody who I would say I am underselling when I say that he is God's greatest creation, along with the Fast and the Furious franchise, Yoder Lugowski. All right, but really, hello, welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today we're doing more tribute videos to the decks of the Magic World Championship. But I thought this was the perfect video to pull out the heel CGB persona once again, because, well, you'll get to see why. Pyotr Glagowski is a very special character. Um, we all feel some way about the guy, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you soon. But also, uh, I want to thank everybody for their response to the mono red heel CGB video. Not every, I, I know not everybody absolutely loved the character, but a lot of people did in the comments. Like the amount of comments was pretty amazing, and I'm glad that you enjoy a little bit of parody, a little bit, of, a little bit of cheekiness, a little bit of fun as I do these magic tribute videos. And honestly, I enjoy it a lot. I want to make videos about the decks of the Magic World Championship as a fan of the game, as a fan of the competitive side of Magic, the scene, the drama, the characters, the people, and of course the cards and the decks. I want to make videos with these decks, but there's always a part of me that feels an imposter syndrome. There's a part of me that says, what do I have to say about a world championship level deck list to share with all of you? But then if I add in an element of some comedy and parody to it, it seems to take all of that kind of, all of that, uh, all those feelings away. It just pulls them all out of me and I just have a really good time. So, uh, yes, this is going to be parody. Yes, this is going to be silly. Yes, trigger warning. There will be emotes. <laughs> Let's get Heal CG back in here to take you through a bit more about the man, the myth, the legend, the canister, Pyotr Glogowski. Pyotr Glogowski is my king because he is an absolute alpha nerd. Just establishes dominance over everybody he walks into battle with, with the most surgical emoting that you have ever seen. Behold, Glogowski, versus Hall of Famer Paulo Vito Domodorosa. He doesn't care. He doesn't care, did you see it? He doesn't care. Gives him a your go. Doesn't care if it's a nine-year-old girl, a Magic Pro League member, a Hall of Famer. Your go, dude. And what does that guy have to do? Mute. Reaches straight for the mute button. Put him on tilt so fast. Had to go straight for the mute. Couldn't risk. Couldn't risk playing mind games with this man. You want, you want more? You want more? You want more? More? Oh my gosh. Seth Manfield. A freaking world champion. An absolute, an absolute lord of magic. Fyodor doesn't give a flox. Gilded Goose. Good game, sir. Good game. Seth straight for the emote disables where the, where even are they i haven't even thought about this already on tilt and it's turn one gilded goose good game sir Fyodor glukowski <laughs> is an absolute master an absolute master and he played this jund food deck at the world championships and my god when you hit him with that emote it's like brock lesnar hitting an f5 their mind is blown their game is over that's it, the end. And uh, this deck, the best thing about the Yorgo emote, he's gonna, we're gonna hit him with it, then we're gonna take for frickin' ever to put the cat in the oven 50 times and win in easily the most annoying way possible. If you want a real breakdown, a full breakdown on how this deck works, that CGB guy already did like a junk food video a while ago. You can find it on his channel. Me, I don't care how the deck works. I care about the BM. So, let's not wait around. Let's get real about all of this. Uh, there's some world showcase thing. I don't know, how does this thing work? Start, choose, 
Where, where's where's my boy? Yes, yes, yes. We're going to battle. I can't wait to put them on tilt, just like my hero, just like Canister. Oh, oh my God! What the? I get to use. I get to use the avatar, and I'm literally playing against somebody named Emotes Disabled. <sighs> they already. They already countered my greatest spell. This hand is a green source away from absolute brilliance. Let's do it. Ah, <laughs> their screen name's literally emotes disabled for this. That that's so special. Ah ha ha! Yeah, that'll get them. That'll teach them. Agonizing remorse. Show me your hand. Are there enough fervent champions in this hand? Are are you freaking serious right now? All right, one of those gets to go. For the love of God, what the hell? <laughs> Absolute nonsense. Ah, uh, the opponent wants to trade. I got a trade for you. Cause I got trailer crumbs. Cat's coming back. The very next day. <clears throat> dumb, dumb spitter. Cool, dude. And the Furby Champ. Oh my god. And there's a Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, it's gonna take my cat out. It's gross. Just gross. Oh. Just you? Coward. Absolute coward. So we want to bring it back. Use the mana here. Dig deeper with the trail. Yes. Yes. The real question is, will the opponent remember to bone crush this cat before I play the oven? Yep. Well done, sir. Lord of Magic at work. So are they going to top deck the land for this Torbrand? That's what that's what we've got to think about now, because if they do, we have to murderous rider that piece of garbage. But can we afford to just sit back? Like, can we afford to just cast, to have three mana open and say go? We can't. We can't afford that. We have to put this out there. We gotta put this out there. Yeah, another black source, I suppose. And we, the opponent has to miss on this land drop. They have to. Okay. Why would you play that instead of your Bone Crush? Okay, man. Do your thing. You do you. Scorch Spitter's still waiting to use Torbrand. Sure. Two cards in hand, one card in hand. You get a card. Nice! <laughs> Literally nice! Alright. Emote's disabled. What, what a disgusting human being. Mayhem Devil. Oh yeah, time to wreck some stuff. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mayhem Devil was going to run all over everything he held dear. <laughs> Boom. Epic rewards for an epic victory. And still freaking going okay sure let's crack a let, let's crack these packs what what do you think i got i'm an alpha nerd i spent a million dollars on this game of course it's gems i don't know what this is i was too cheap to buy theros because throne of eldraine was so good i thought this set just wasn't necessary let's see what we got here what we got here temple of abandon a worse life gain land cool Big hits, big money. All I've played so far in this event is Mono Red. That's all I've played. I haven't played anything else. 
That's fine. That's fine. Hello, Seth Manfield. Your go. Let's go. Hurry up. I can't wait for even a smidgen of a second without getting impatient. This life needs to move at a speed that I choose. That's what being the alpha, the alpha nerd is all about. Then you gotta give it to him good. Just right away. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Manfield. Don't think I've played against anybody who hasn't had Fervent Champion. Just instantly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, do we get that going or do we Agonizing Remorse? Agonizing Remorse wants to take an Ember Cleave or a Torbrand, something huge. So we don't have to do that right away. We'll get the cat action going, gain a little life, and s try to set up this Mayhem Devil. Use Trail of Crumbs, hit our land drops. Be an absolute nightmare here. It puts the cat in the oven, or else it gets the hose again. Two mana, do nothing. Awesome. Trail of crumbs. Where are you at? If we find a Mayhem Devil off this, everything dies. It will be glorious. What do you know? It's that guy who got hardened in a forge that one time. So when you attack into a cat oven Trail of Crumbs combo, <laughs> yeah, if we can't actually win the game, we win the mental game. We tilt them straight out. Just tilt them straight out of the event. Good God, somebody's playing blue-white control. Oh yeah, let's do this. Oh, yes. Alpha Hand 101. <clears throat> Cat Oven. You lose, good day, sir. We get to kick it off with the oven. We don't want Dovin's Veto to take our oven away. And we immediately send over the emotes. See how fast they play? We're definitely going to have to hit them with a the Yorgo the second they take a, a moment to think. That is, that is the way it's going to have to be. Now we're dodging Banishing Light. Now we need to avoid a Banishing Light. I guess we got the Bronto. Bronto's ready for some Banishing Light stuff. Omen. Sure. Boom. Your go. They were thinking about their scry. Now they're thinking about what an evil human being I am. Completely tilted off their game. Probably bottomed out of pure frustration. Boom. Cat. Oven. No banishing light yet. Love it. Second oven. We play it right into an absorb, but we wouldn't resolve anything else. This deck runs like multiple absorbs, veto, all the goods. I could play an Archon of Sun's Grace, and my life total probably doesn't matter. I'm just going to pay this life. Say go. That way I can resolve one thing or the other in the future if I get them to tap some mana. Thirst for meaning. Yep. Three cards. A lot for three mana. Choose and discard. Ugh. Do I control? 
destroying the thing I love. What's become of me? What's become of me, everybody? I gotta admit, I, I oh, this is, this is, I can't believe how long I have to wait for this. I was gonna say I'm having fun, but my god, this is taking a million hours. Let's go. How much, how much slower can you possibly play with a deck? <laughs> See, it's ironic, you guys. It's ironic, kids, because I know I take forever. It's ironic. It's, it's just fun. Birth, planes, boom. Yeah, well, I got something for you. It's called Cat Oven. The real good stuff. Come on, Trail of Crumbs. Not good. Did we want a murderous rider this wall? We want to play Thrashing Brontodon and possibly blow this wall sky high? How do we want to do this? I want to resolve this oven at some point to quicken the clock. I think what I do here is I play the Bronto the next turn. I try to Murderous Rider the wall. If the opponent defends it, I can play the oven. If they don't defend it, I have a Murderous Rider to play later and a quicker clock. Because I think they have Dovin's Veto. I want to get this oven resolved. One way or another. Field of Ruin. It's a card. I do have a castle somewhere in my deck. The Furry. What you doing? Bounce the oven? Okay, they definitely have a veto. It puts the cat in the oven. Boingy. Bring the cat back. Because we need to kill Teferis. We have enough mana for Murderous Rider and Double Oven, so we can take this out and keep the clock on the opponent. I think they plan to veto an oven at least, so I should play an oven just to get it done. I'm kind of curious though, would they allow two ovens here? And is that actually better? Damage they can't really stop. Let's find out. You want to veto this? When you know there's an oven, <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Now this is setting up the true tilt, the ultimate tactician, the ultimate play. You get him with the oops. You thought you had me, huh? You thought you had me. Well, maybe you have me. Whatever. <laughs> the one of Dream Trawler in the whole deck. Got him. All right, cat, oven. Big draw needed. Since we're probably not attacking into this, let's hold this kitten. Not really yet. Not really. Actually, <laughs> Am I going to do this? Kind of curious if the opponent will block if I if I throw an attack here. I don't think they will, to be honest. Okay, that's what I thought. So now
Oh my goodness, how evil can I be? I even get to use the funky land? Dear lord, what have I become? Are you ready for a massacre? Full control. Slicings and dicings. Again. It's too bad I only get one food. I think that's going to end up being the difference. I needed to do this with the first trigger on the stack so that I would get two foods. Is it enough? It looks like it's enough. Okay, it was enough. I thought for a second there I mismathed and that I had to have two foods from the Brontodon to make that work. All right. Here comes the Elspeth Conqueror's death, though. They always have it. But our opponent is at five. They don't have a lot of time. That Dream Trawler is coming back in two turns. We got to make this count. We're going to make it count, friends. It's going to count. Spells cost two more. Shouldn't be a big... Shouldn't be a big problem. Sacrifice something, I dare you. So, oven. That's one. Cat. Comes back with food. That's two. The cat itself is three. Untap. Cat. Oven. Should be game if our opponent can't gain life right here. Right now. It would actually be legitimately toxic to hit them with a Yorgo at this moment. Instead, I'll just wait for the surgical nice or preemptive GG, something of that nature. There's for meaning on full control mode. Digging. How are you getting out of this? We saw a Shadow of the Sky get discarded a long time ago. I thought that meant they had another. But I don't think that will save them. And it's a scoop. I've done my hero proud, Canister. Would you... Would you approve of me, Senpai? Would you approve of me? Would you love me? I hope you enjoyed this hopefully silly and entertaining video with Pyotr Glogowski's Jund Food Deck. And I really legitimately both enjoy playing the character uh, devoted to the heel and enjoy rooting for the heel character, the bad guy, the villain. So um, this was actually really, really fun. And I do enjoy his antics. At first, he made me very angry. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw him emoting at people in competitive play, it did make me mad. And the longer, the, kind of the longer I've gotten to sit with it, the more I just come to appreciate. I mean, who who plays a goose and says, good game? How is that not the alpha move? Anyway, this deck. We'll talk quickly about the deck. This deck is a very, it's still a competitive best of three deck. It's a little off the radar. If it has the Mayhem Devil set up, red decks just die. Um, fires can be really tough. I don't really love that matchup. Teamer Reclamation is the worst, really, really tough. But blue-white control and red, that particular duo, this deck is set up to beat up on that. I would definitely make a lot of changes for best of one, and if you want to see that, uh, I made a video a while ago adapting food for best of one that you might enjoy. And I haven't, I, I'm still testing some things. I have a patron who has me working on this right now, but I'm still testing out uh, some things like status, giving death touch to your mayhem devil, Things like Acroxa to use the graveyard, things like Shadow Sphere to give lifelink to your Mayhem Devil. I mean, maybe it's a little too cute, but.
But as far as a best of one version, I still think you want Assassin's Trophies and Nissa's uh, to close games and keep from getting cleaved. But anyway, we're working more on that. Maybe we'll talk more about that in the future. I'm going to say for now, thank you for watching this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of Covert, Go Heal, and his devotion to Piotr Grogowski. And uh, yeah, come watch some more. Watch the World Championships. Um, today is the finals, so by the time you see this, it will be over. But the VODs, I'm sure, will be live on Twitch and on YouTube. And yeah, I love being a fan of competitive magic, and I encourage it. It's really cool. If you want to talk competitive magic, uh, come to the Discord. There's a link in the description. We have an esports channel where you can talk all about it, ask any questions you have. And uh, thanks for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video. Later, nerds.